Good evening, teacher. Hey, good evening. How are you today? Fine. Excellent. Fine. Did you work today? Mm, yes. I'm oh. so tidy. Oh, me too. Where do you work, Nubia? I work uh, freelance. Ah, oh, as a freelance. freelance. Uh -huh. oh. My Oh, My. yeah, you told me with a Canadian magazine, right? Orato. Excuse me? Orato. Orato, Orato. yeah, but, but from Canada, right? Ah, uh, yes. Okay, yeah, I remember. Yeah, I remember. Hey, hey, get me get me a job there. <laughs> um, for, for, photographer? Uh-uh. Oh yeah, but you need to have a good for I mean a good uh, camera. Uh, yes, and yeah, uh, make a gallery. Uh, gallery. A gallery, yes, a gallery. Uh -huh. and, <laughs> and and what topics do you I mean do you work on? I mean, what kind of photos? What um. Uh, 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 ¿Cómo se dice fiestas patronales? Ah, oh, um, regional festivities. Uh, uh -huh. oh, so, 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 so you travel. You travel uh -huh. all, all over San Salvador. I mean, uh, el, el, el Salvador. En El Salvador, exactly. So you go to uh, Jocote Festival, Anona, Anona Festival, uh, exactly. Orange, Orange Festival, eh, uh, 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 that's nice, that's a nice job. Sí, yes. Yeah, it's, yes. Beauty, it's beautiful. Uh, sí, it's beautiful. Inter interesting. Interesting and, and fun. Interesting. <laughs> uh -huh. Hey, very good. I I like your job. Thank you. Sí, it's, it's beautiful. Yes. And the payment is good, I, I, I think. Don't tell me, don't tell me, but it's good, right? Don't the, the payment is good. Ah, uh, more or less, more or less. Okay. But you need to have, but you need to have a car. Yes, in in, in the car. Okay, so you you, you spend. Uh huh. Um, um, ¿cómo se dice paseo? Aprovecho yeah, paseo. yeah, 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 yeah. I, I know, I know. But mostly, <laughs> on, mostly on the weekends, right? Eh, uh, sí, yes, yes, yes. Okay, hey, nice, nice. Uh, but only pictures. You don't interview people. Mm, the history. Yes, yes. Ah, so you write, you write yeah, about write, the picture, the, 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 the descriptions. Description ah. with um, 10, 10 photos. Ah, 10 photos, and then you go like in Suchitoto, in 19, ta -ra -ra -ra, they celebrate this festival in honor That's to the, uh, yeah, 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 like cultural events and, and, and uh, cultural background information. Exactly. Mm. Exactly. I like your job. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, let's start. All right. Hello, everybody. Hello, teacher. Hi, Glenda. How are you? I'm fine. You look happy today. Yes, yeah, teacher. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Happy faces. <laughs> Shiny, happy people. Good. All right. Uh, well, today we're going to continue. Remember, we are closing our third week today, so we only have one more week. And I hope you already finished your uh, unit one, two, 
the midterm unit four and the 50% of unit five. Así se supone que deben de estar, ¿verdad? Casi terminando la unidad cinco en la plataforma. But, okay, this weekend you can do it, okay? You can finish all. Okay, let's talk about adverbs of frequency. ¿Qué son los adverbs of frequency? Son los adverbios de frecuencia. What do we use adverbs of frequency for? Do you have an, any idea about it, about adverbs of frequency? No? You don't know? Son los verbos, son los adverbios como de vez en cuando, usualmente, a veces, ah, nunca. Ajá. ¿Y para qué los usamos? Yo pienso que para, para explicar en qué momento hacemos una acción, cuando comemos o cada cuánto comemos algo, digamos de vez en cuando como huevo. Ok, thank you. Ok, yes. Los adverbios de frecuencia nos dicen, valga la redundancia, con qué frecuencia hacemos las cosas. Okay. Así es. All right. Thank you. That were the adverse of frequency. And we have some adverse of frequency here. No los tenemos todos. We just have the, like they say, the, the most common adverse. Frequency. There are more. There are more. Oof. There is a big list of adverse of frequency. So right now we're going to uh, explain the use of the adverse of frequency. Okay, and share a little information with you. Okay, there we go. Now we're going to cut this. Yes. I need to explain this so you can have a better idea. Okay, remember what does always mean is in Spanish. Always in Spanish is? Siempre. Yes. Right now, we're going to use Spanglish, okay? So you can have an idea of what we're talking about, okay? Always means siempre. Okay, let's create a sentence. I always have a big breakfast. I always... Have got it? I always, yeah, something that you always do hundred percent every day. Yeah, one thing that you always do. Ahora bien, I'm going to explain. Okay, hold on, hold on, and wait. Okay, what is the order of this? Uh, no, no, I can't read. So we have, what's this? this is, da, 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 da. Okay, we have the subject, como va el orden, okay? Subject plus adverb, I mean, Adverb, ay, perdón, se fue para otro lado. Plus, luego que tenemos, adverb, verb, plus, 
complement. Ese es el orden gramatical, ¿eh? That's the grammar pattern, ¿ok? Got it? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Yes, teacher, we love you. Ok, bye, gracias, muy amable. Thank you. I love you too. Yeah. I love my students. Ok, if there are no students, there are no class. There is no class. Así que ustedes son el motivo principal de esto. Right? Ok, good. You are the most important thing. Ok, so subject. Ok, you subject is the yeah. Can be I, can be you, can be they, can be we, can be she, can be el sujeto que sea, ¿verdad? And, and the adverb, adverb can be always, can be usually, can be often, can be sometimes, can be hardly ever, and can be never. Vamos a ir explicando uno por uno, okay? But something that you always do. Tell me one thing that you always do every day. I always get. Teacher nos ah. está compartiendo una pantalla de Word, pero no la estamos viendo. Sí, sí sabe. sabe. La de Word. Sí, ah, no, no, no. Se... Ay, qué lindo yo, ¿verdad? Chulo el señor. Y yo ya, gran periquera que tenía. Sí, sí, sí. <laughs> I'm sorry, thank you. <laughs> I gave it for granted. Okay, so we're talking about always. Okay, these are the others of frequency. And then we have always means siempre, right? This is the, the, the grammar pattern. Subject, adverb, verb, and the complement. Oh, teacher. Oh, okay, yo no sé. Yo lo veo un poco ahí como que we need to know part by part. Okay, that's and this is like this. This is like this. That's the that's the that's the order. Yep. I always have a big breakfast. That's that is my sentence. Okay. Now. We have the word, the other, sorry. We have usually. What is usually in Spanish? What is usually in Usualmente. Spanish? Huh? Usualmente. Usualmente. Yeah. Okay, usualmente. So, um, I'm going to say... Marvin usually, sorry, usually studies English. Look, subject, adverb, verb, and complement. Comprende? Yes, I am, teacher. Good. Now we have another compliment. Let me see. Let me see. Here is here. Uh-huh. Okay. Now let's talk about uh, often. Often is another adverb frequency that you can say often or you can use often. Both pronunciation are okay. Las dos pronunciaciones. ¿Ya? Yeah? But I use often. I say often. And often is? A menudo. A menudo. Y no de pollo, ¿verdad? ¿Ok? Ni de los, de los bichos aquellos peludos que cantaban en los 80. ¿Ok? Sus mamás han de haber escuchado bicho. Súbete a mi moto. I often uh, check my social media. Got it? What is your social media? 
Redes sociales. No, but, it, but give me examples. Instagram. Instagram. Facebook, WhatsApp. WhatsApp. El WhatsApp or WhatsApp? WhatsApp. <laughs> okay, good. All right, good. Okay, that is often. So I often check. Then we have another. We have sometimes. And sometimes means, sorry. Sometimes means in Spanish. Ocasiones. De vez en cuando. Alguna vez. Alguna veces. Alguna vez. I sometimes. Okay. So you can say I sometimes. Okay, in my case, I sometimes uh, watch the news. Got it? I sometimes watch the, me the news, but with sometimes there is an exception. Ah, oh, Profi, ¿cuál es la excepción del sometimes? Okay, here we count the exception of sometimes and Sometimes can be at the beginning of the sentence. Sometimes I watch the news. Got it? See the order of the of the elements or the parts of the sentence. Ah, profe decía que primero va el sujeto y luego el adverbio. Pero, ¿qué pasa con sometimes? It's an exception. So, we change place of the adverb. We put it on the first place. And then, the subject. ¿Y por qué hace eso? Someone did it like that. Y así quedó. Y no es, no es un error gramatical. Pero en conversación. ¿Ok? Sometimes I. Si alguien sometimes I, está hablando correctamente. ¿All right? It's the same. Ok. All right. Let's continue with... Let me see if we can do... Siempre me vemos para acá abajo. Let's go. What is the other adverb? Hardly ever. That is the, the next one. Yep. Hardly ever. Sí. Ese es. What is hardly ever in in in, in Spanish? In English. I mean in Spanish. Casi siempre. No. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Casi nunca. Casi nunca. Eso. Okay. I hardly ever do exercise. Eso va con alguno, ¿verdad? I hardly ever do exercise. Go to the gym, lift weights, walk, run, uh, ride a bicycle, play soccer, play basketball, do some activity. Okay, don't be don't be lazy. All right, hardly ever means okay. I hardly ever drink soda. In my case, I hardly ever drink soda. Okay, another one, and the last one is never. Yep, never. That means you already know, right? Nunca. So she never gets up early, early on Sundays. She never gets up early on Sundays. She stays late in bed. Yeah. Around yes. around ten o'clock, they they go like, oh, yeah. Some people do that. Some people do that. Okay, so these are the adverbs of frequency. Now, 
Tell me if you have questions. Questions? Hello? No, teacher. No questions, everybody? No, for the moment. No, by the moment, okay. Teacher, yo tengo una pregunta. Hágala, hágala. Do it, do it. En el examen, no sé si, no recuerdo si es la sección 4 o 5, pero un examen en la estructura decía que la frecuencia iba de primero. Cuando yo le puse primero el sujeto y después la frecuencia me salía incorrecta. ¿Qué, ah, qué? pero estaba buscando y no, y no sé cuál es. Ajá. Pero sí me aparecía. Si era sometimes, no, no sé si... es posible. Sí, yo creo que es sometimes es. era. Si era sometimes, buscando... sí. Por eso es una excepción, sometimes. Solo con ese adverbio de frecuencia se puede poner antes. Correcto. Hay un par más, pero no lo recuerdo. Hay dos más que se usan así. Ok, so ah, I think, ok, okay I, but right now only with sometimes, ok, sometimes, sometimes I go to bed uh, early, ok, because I feel tired, my days are very busy, I'm very busy all day, teaching, uh, working on documents, oh, talking with a lot of people, but that's life, that's life. And then teach here, uh, be with you. I, I enjoy teaching. I love teaching English. Okay, now let's go and no, no more questions? No? Okay. Now let's share over here. Now, I want you to put the adverbs in the correct places, okay? Example, what do you usually have for breakfast? Okay? Ahí está el lugar donde debe de ir. After the subject and before the verb. Continue with, with the rest. Understand the activity. Yes. Okay. Yes, okay, let's do it. Finish.
Finish, Glenda. Uh -huh. Okay, good. Thank you. Movia finish, Miriam, Elsa, Emily. Done? Okay. Yeah. Reported to the class. So in letter B, well, I have. Well, I have often uh -huh. coffee cereal and juice. Okay. I often have pizza. Ah, okay. Quiere decir que el adverbio va después del sujeto. Pay attention. I often have coffee, cereal, and juice. Got it? Antes del verbo. Okay. Between. Uh -huh. After the subject and before the verb. Right in the middle. Yep. Okay. Next one. Do you? I mean. Sujeto, adverbio, luego verbo. Okay, but the no, the next one. Okay. Do you ever eat? Yeah. Do you ever? De donde sale ever? Ever means si alguna vez. Ya, yeah? that what it means. Si alguna vez has hecho tal cosa. Do you ever, do you ever go to El Pital? Do you ever uh, ride a horse? Vamos a ever, okay? Okay, do you, do you ever eat breakfast at work? Okay, next one. Sometimes I have breakfast at my desk. Very good. Applying the deception. Pero también puedo decir. I sometimes help. Yeah, yeah. Breakfast at my desk. Yeah, I sometimes. Yeah, I can say sometimes I and I sometimes. Okay, next one. Okay. Do you eat like for do you? Do you usually eat rice, rice for, for the breakfast? breakfast? Yes. Do you usually? Usually. Do you usually? Usually, yes. It's usually. Do you usually eat rice for breakfast? No. I? Hardly. Hardly. Hardly ever. I hardly ever. Have rice. Yes. I hardly ever have rice. Okay, now I want you to practice this conversation with your partners, okay? Let's go to the rooms and practice your English like a gringo. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Bye-bye. See you in a couple of minutes. Sin querer apreté el, el no unirme. Ajá, ¿Quién fue la de Soglenda? No, Nubia. Nubia. Vaya, la voy a enviar otra vez. Sí, pasó.
Hello again. Hello again. Hello again, naturally. Da, 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 da. Hello again. 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 No again, okay? Again. Lo curioso es que justo estaba escuchando esa canción. Ah, de Paul McCartney. Hello yes, again. Justamente la cantó. Naturally. I don't like Beatles, but eh, like a like a solo singer, I, I like Paul McCartney and John Lennon, but Beatles. Mm -mm. Amazing. Oh, yeah, of course. Six is under death metal. And it all la derivation derivation of the metal. Okay. Okay. All right. Next activity. We have a unscramble. Unscramble the sentence. A hey, teacher, what is unscramble the sentence? Okay. That means that the sentences are in disorder. 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 
dun. Okay. The sentences are in disorder. Okay. Y como ya está, ya sabe el patrón gramática. Oh, yes. It's very easy for me. I already have it here in my head. Okay. And then you go like, oh, oh. This is in, not in order. I have breakfast on never week. Okay. That's not okay. okay. So I go, I never have breakfast on weekends. Oh, good. So ne the next one, what is it? I hardly I ever. Hardly. Sorry. Continue. I hardly ever eat snack, snacks. Um, it's not a work. At. I hardly. I eat have snacks. At at work. At work. Perfect. Work. Perfect. Perfect. Esa la que daba problema, Ana, de, de la sunset. ¿Por qué? Porque. <laughs> ah. La, la, ah, la, ah, la de sometimes I eat dinner. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, okay. So what's, what's the, yeah. what is it? This one. What, what is the order? I sometimes eat pasta um, for dinner. For dinner. Mm -hmm. And I often I, okay. I I often have dinner with my family. I often have dinner with my family. And we're okay. Are you okay? Yep. Okay, now, next activity. Rewrite the sentences from part B with your own information, okay? Write it on your notebook. Ahí el cuadernito, okay? In your notebook, write those sentences of your own information. So you can say, I have I never, or I, or I always have, or I sometimes, you can use another adverb of frequency, and also you can change the food. Yeah? Pasta, snacks, you can change that, okay? Continue.
Ahí solo le preguntan, miren, Finish. One more minute. Everybody finish. Tell me, tell me if you're finished. Everybody finish? Please answer if you're finished. Hello. Are you finished? Finished, teacher. Thank you, Miriam. <laughs> Okay, my friends. Now you're finished. Yep. And uh, we're going to take this information to the breakup rooms and you're going to start a conversation. Okay. Like uh, if I say, I always have a big breakfast on weekends and then you you start giving your ideas or if you have questions also you can ask questions okay let's go remember to practice the adverse of frequency that is the purpose
Hello. Are you there? Okay, let's do something else. Add three questions about mealtime habits to the chart. Understand. Do you usually eat breakfast, lunch, or dinner? Allá tenemos eso, ¿verdad? But here are three spaces, seven, eight, and nine. Write three questions, please. Que tengan lógica con breakfast, lunch, or dinner, okay? You can write it on the chat. Zoom chat. Send your send your questions to the chat, please. Aquí les ayudo. I'm gonna help you here. Hey, that's a good one, Glenn. What do you like to eat on Sundays? Excellent. Continue, please. 
Bravo. Miriam, do you usually drink? Um, pero agree. Let's add, do you usually drink coffee for breakfast? Okay. Oh, yes. Thank you, Miriam. Yeah, excellent. Do you ever eat beef for lunch? Good one. That's a good one. Excellent. Good. Next. More, more, more sentences. I mean, more questions. Diego, do do you usually go to have breakfast at um do you have do you have breakfast at a restaurant? Quitemos el go to. Do you usually have breakfast at a restaurant? Okay. Do you almost never have lunch at home? Mm -hmm. Tú casi nunca. Do you never, do you ever drink, no, do you ever drink beer? She sometimes eats fish for breakfast. Do you, do you ever eat fish? Por eso se puso ne ever en vez de never, porque si tú nunca comes pescado, no, si alguna vez com has comido pescado, ¿ok? So it's do you ever, do you always drink water for breakfast? What is something you always eat for dinner? That's a good question. Very nice. What do you usually eat for breakfast, for lunch, for dinner? Why hardly, why you hardly ever, why you hardly ever eat eggs in the morning? Do you usually drink coffee for breakfast? Okay, thank you. Now we're gonna stop here and call the attendance. Thanks for your participation. You've been very participative. Okay, uh, okay, let's go to the List. Okay. Abel Herminio Mendez. Ana Ruth Lizama. Present. Thank you. Claudia, Claudia Elizabeth Aguirre. Las Thank you. Diego Mariano Clímaco. Present. Thank you. Elsa Cecilia Carranza. Present teacher. Thank you. Emily de Los Angeles Villatoro. Present. Thank you. Glenda Elizabeth Antillón. Present. Thank you. Present teacher. Thank you. Jacqueline Lorena Campos. Present teacher. Thank you. Karen Vanessa Aguilar.
Catherine Andrea Sánchez. Grisia Elizabeth Portillo. Okay. Marilyn Rudy Mulato. Present. Thank you. Marvin Rudy Mulato. Present. Thank you. Minor Alexander Avelar. Present. Teacher. Thank you. Miriam Janet Villalobos. Nubia Beatriz Rivas. Present teacher. Thank you. Stephanie Alejandra Martinez. Present. Thank you. Teacher, disculpe. Hola. Miriam, sí está. Perdón. Miriam, sí está. Ok, thank you. Uh -huh. Tatiana Michelle Pineda. Present. Thank you. Semia Esmeralda Chávez. Present. Thank you. Thank you. All right, let's. Okay, that's it. We're finished. Another week. Y como pasa el tiempo. Time passes so fast that we are finished now. Okay, so. Have a nice weekend. Study the platform. Okay. Study the platform. Finish the platform. And see you. See you. On Monday. Okay. Goodbye. Okay. Goodbye. Thank you, teacher. Bye-bye, teacher. Bye-bye. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Thank you.